invisible, explosive, flammable, deadly. These words all describe hydrogen sulfide, or H2S, a leading cause of death in the workplace. Hydrogen sulfide is a byproduct formed by decaying organic matter. Hydrogen sulfide can be found in oil or gas operations, mining facilities, sewage, wastewater treatment plants, landfills, public utilities, and other places. Because hydrogen sulfide is so dangerous, your employer is required to follow certain safety standards, such as monitoring the air in your workspace and providing engineering controls. But most importantly, you must know how to protect yourself. If you are aware of the hazards and follow your company's established procedures, you can work around H2S safely. What exactly is hydrogen sulfide? It's a highly toxic, colorless gas whose molecules consist of two hydrogen atoms bonded to a single atom of sulfur. This molecule poses a direct threat to your life and health if not treated with the proper respect and personal protective equipment. H2S has an offensive odor similar to that of rotten eggs at low concentrations. That's why it's often referred to as sour gas, stink gas, or sour damp. Hydrogen sulfide rapidly deadens your sense of smell, so your nose is a poor first line of defense. Don't rely on your nose to alert you to the presence of H2S. Because of its rapid action, hydrogen sulfide is considered one of the most dangerous industrial gases. H2S is also highly flammable. It has a flash point of 500 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning it will catch fire and burn at any temperature at or above 500 degrees if conditions are right. 500 degrees is lower than you might think when you consider that the end of a cigarette burns at approximately 1400 degrees. That's why smoking is prohibited in or near any area where there's a possibility of H2S. An oxygen acetylene torch burns at approximately 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, if any welding or cutting operation must be done, a hot work permit must be obtained before work begins. H2S is water-soluble. The gas may be present in water and will stay mixed with the water until the water is agitated, then it's released into the air. H2S is also highly corrosive to certain metals, and can cause a buildup of iron sulfide scale inside the pipe. When the moisture is removed from this compound, it can spontaneously combust and burn on its own. Prolonged contact with H2S may corrode and weaken metal pipes, resulting in a major H2S leak and or exposure incidents. H2S is recoverable from natural gas and petroleum refining operations and is converted into sulfuric acid or high-quality sulfur. It is also disposed of by burning in flares. When burned, it produces another poisonous gas, sulfur dioxide, or SO2. SO2 is toxic, irritating to the eyes, and can also cause serious injury or death. There are many different hazards associated with this poisonous gas. The main hazard is inhalation. Absorption of the material through the skin is not considered a significant hazard. Low levels of exposure may cause the following symptoms individually or in combinations, increasing with longer exposure. Fatigue, eye irritation, headache, dizziness, excitement, coughing, drowsiness, nausea, pain in the nose, throat, and chest. Higher levels of exposure can intensify symptoms, and if the concentration is high enough, death can result. When a person breathes in H2S, it goes directly through the lungs and into the bloodstream. To protect itself, the body oxidizes or breaks down the H2S as rapidly as possible into a harmless compound. If the individual breathes in so much H2S that the body can't oxidize at all, the H2S builds up in the blood and the individual is poisoned. The nerve centers and